sideways. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Sideways. Came in the same sideways. Get turned, get lit sideways. Haters looking at me sideways. 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 I ain't stopping like nine days. Heard that he talking sideways. Leaning in the same sideways. Sideways. They want to see your boy Kevin Ware. Yeah. I hope the worst when they tell me go and break a leg. Uh. This music with it without me, boy, still gonna be intersecting circles like a This is for the little girl who sits in the back of the classroom. Face covered by her favorite gray sweater that resembled the gray sky of her seemingly perfect life. Fists balled up, arms tucked in, thinking maybe if she sat there long enough, she would become invisible, or even better, just forgotten. Her tear-stained pillow made her feel safe at night. The jiggling of the door handle always made her jump, fear of the unknown mommy's boyfriend coming home drunk, she would dream of how it would be to one day grow up. How she might one day grow up and magically become pretty. How she might one day grow up and somehow obtain one of those video vixen bodies. She spent hours in the mirror. Her family made comments about how conceited she was, but really, she was conjuring up ways to make herself better. Ugly is what she defined herself as. The way she really felt about herself and her heart was covered up by padded bras, putting on a facade that she thought she was perfect. She succeeded in hiding the fact that really, she felt worthless. Sticks and stones were never a threat to her because she learned early to be a fighter, but words, words broke her. Especially the absent words from an absent father, broken promises followed her like a shadow in the twilight, barely there until it hit midnight. Then these broken promises turned into cries. Tears soaking her pillow, but to her demise, they were dry right before the sunrise, so her battle was never known. And her secrets were never told. And not because she didn't want anyone to know, but because no one would take the time out to listen, so she learned carefully how to bottle up her emotions until eventually she would lash out on the one to whom she was closest, her mother. The greatest example of strength this little girl would ever see. And not just of strength, but of beauty and resiliency. And ironically, the last memory this little girl has of her mother and father being together is her mother on her knees. On the very floor, she would faithfully clean. The trash can went from his hands to over her head. Broken eggs and spaghetti painted a mosaic of yellow and red. It seemed that her daddy liked it better when he made her mother cry and scream instead of smile and sign, instead of buying her nice things like makeup and rings. He preferred to make up her face himself with black eyes and broken jaws, not so trendy things. This is what this little girl thought love was supposed to be, a perverted picture painted by her parents. So one day, this little girl finally gained enough strength to walk away. And this little girl walked in on her mother, hiding her cries and drying her eyes. And at that moment, that little girl promised herself that her children will never see her cry. This is for the young woman on this stage behind this mic. Fists clenched, palms sweaty, far from invisible because God took her pain and turned it into a pedestal so her one silent voice can now be heard by many. She's a modern day Esther. She will save her generation from themselves because she remembers all of the hell and all of the sleepless nights by herself. This is for me. I remember the first time he touched me. It was like I could finally breathe. And I was willfully drowning in his waves of unexplainable peace and he held me. And it was beautiful. And for the first time in my life, I realized that somebody wanted me wholeheartedly, unconditionally. There was no more need for padded bras or covering up my flaws because he knew them all way before I even did. And he still died for me in spite of my sin. He was chasing after me long before I knew him. That safety I felt at night was him. And this, this is for you, that you might know him. That the sound of my voice might somehow amplify the sound of him knocking on the doors of your heart and you will willfully let him in like I did. This is for you, young girl. This is for you, young man. I refuse to stand up here behind my facade of perfection, but I stand before you broken. A beautiful mess. Held together only by my Savior's blood. This is for you, young girl. This is for you, young man. He wants to put you back together again. That the tears you cry will only be from him, from the joy that he will fill you with. This is for you, young girl. This is for you. 
young man, and I beg you to let him in. I beg you to let him in. Every time you fall away into this trap and constantly attempt to come back, he'll accept you, but in the process, you have trampled God's grace, spit in his face, and yes, crucified his son again. So we know that you guys enjoy the content that we produce. We enjoy giving it to you. If you want to be a part of that process, if you want to be a part of allowing us to continue to give you that content with a bunch of ideas that we have, there's ideas upon ideas that we have ready to go, ready to produce. If you want to be a part of making that happen, become a patron.